dying to old ways of thinking and being creates a path for new life out of the wasteland. The picture card speaks of dying to old ways to find new life. I'm reminded of something Joseph Campbell once said, Only birth can conquer death. Birth not of the old thing again, but of something new. Within the soul, there must be recurrence of birth if we are to experience a rich life. I can't say that I've ever gone through a change so dramatic, but it feels like I'm getting close to something like this. Otherwise, why am I being shown all of this? Where does your greatest passion meet the world's greatest need? This is your vocation and paradise. Vocation as paradise. I once read that the word vocation is rooted in the Latin word for voice. Then perhaps our vocation is not something we simply pursue, but is more of a calling that is heard. It is in listening, not pure willfulness, that our true path is discovered. But how to discern between that voice within and the voices of the wasteland that lead down a false path? Mend the split between yourself and the true artist. These notes keep mentioning something called the true artist. I wonder if this is similar to something Jung called the self, which is the unconscious part of ourselves where our true nature lies. In different times it went by other names. The Greeks called it the daemon, and the Romans called it the genius within each individual. Jung considered that everyone has a sense of wholeness from birth, but loses it early in life. The goal is to consciously rediscover the self, otherwise we eventually reach an impasse in one way or another. That must be what this is. Mend the split between yourself. These notes keep mentioning something called the true artist. The Greeks called it the daemon, the goal.
The more you listen, the easier it becomes to hear the voice within. But first, find the key. The notes keep mentioning the key. Keys symbolize power, knowledge, and opportunities. New doors can be opened to opportunities that were once locked and reserved to whoever possessed the key. Janus, the Roman god of gates and wisdom, is sometimes portrayed carrying a key. He was the god of beginnings and ends who could grant new opportunities. <laughs>